In the previous two lectures, we have considered functions which were either odd or even. Now, what happens if a function f of x is neither odd or even? In such a case, we have to find a0 as well as the coefficients a n and b n. Right? So before we take an example, do not forget to like, share and subscribe and press the bell icon to get notifications of all the further uploads and to join the telegram group for engineering mathematics. The link has been given in the description. So you can join the telegram group to keep yourself updated about the videos, lectures which are being posted on the YouTube channel. So let's take an example. So consider a given function f of x which is minus pi when x is between minus pi and 0 and x when the value of x varies between 0 and pi. Now let phi of x be equal to minus pi and xi of x be equal to x. And we find that phi of x is not equal to xi of x. Right? So even if I put phi of minus x here, I will never get xi of x or I will not get minus of xi of x. So this function f of x is neither odd or even. So in such a case we have to find a0, an as well as bn. So we have a0 equal to 1 by pi integral minus pi to 0 f of x is minus pi plus integral 0 to pi f of x is x dx. So this is 1 by pi. So you have minus pi integral of 1 is x. So x within the limits minus pi to 0 plus x square by 2 within the limits 0 and pi. So this is 1 by pi. So you have minus pi so x varies between 0 and minus pi. So it is 0 minus of minus pi plus when x is pi you have pi square by 2 minus 0. Right? So this is minus of minus pi is plus pi plus pi into minus pi is minus pi square. So you have 1 by pi minus pi square plus pi square by 2. So minus pi square plus pi square by 2 is minus pi square by 2. So pi and pi gets cancelled. So the value is minus pi by 2. So the value of a0 is minus pi by 2. So what is a n? a n is 1 by pi minus pi 2 plus pi f of x cos nx dx. So this is 1 by pi. When the integral varies between minus pi to 0, f of x is minus pi. So minus pi cos nx dx plus 0 to pi f of x is x cos nx dx. So we have 1 by pi. So minus pi can be taken outside the integral. So you have minus pi integral cos nx. Integral cos nx is sine nx by n with the limits varying between minus pi to 0 plus so here this is the first term and this is the second term so we have first term into integral of the second term which is sine nx by n with the limits varying between 0 to pi minus integral of integral of the second term which is sine nx by n into differential of the first term. Differential of x is 1 so you get 1 dx. So integral varying between 0 and pi. So here if you observe if I put x equal to 0 I get sine 0 and if I put x equal to minus pi I get sine of minus n pi. So sine of n pi or sine of minus n pi is 0. So this term becomes 0. Similarly this term also becomes 0 because you get sine n pi and sine 0. So I am only left with the third term. So we have 1 by pi minus 1 by n. 
so you have integral of sin nx so integral of sin nx is minus cos nx by n with the limits varying between 0 and pi so you have minus into minus is plus so you have 1 by pi into 1 by n square so you have cos n pi cos n pi minus cos 0 so we get 1 by n square pi cos n pi is minus 1 whole power n minus cos 0 is 1 so therefore a n is 1 by n square pi minus 1 whole power n minus 1 so let me write the value of a n here so a n equals 1 by pi n square minus 1 whole power n minus 1 so now we need to find the value of b n so b n is 1 by pi integral minus pi to plus pi f of x sine n x dx so this is 1 by pi integral minus pi to 0 f of x is minus pi sine nx dx plus integral you have 0 to pi then you have f of x is x sine nx dx so you have 1 by pi minus pi integral sine nx is minus cos nx by n with x varying from minus pi to 0 plus so here you have x as the first term sin nx as the second term so you have first term into integral of the second term integral of sin nx is minus cos nx by n with x varying from 0 to pi minus integral of integral of the second term which is minus cos nx by n into differential of the first term which is differential of x which is 1 dx with integral varying between 0 and pi so you have 1 by pi minus into minus is plus you have pi by n cos n into 0 when x is 0 you have cos 0 minus cos minus n pi right so you have x is equal to 0 here here x is equal to minus pi minus so plus into minus is minus so here x is pi cos n pi minus x is equal to 0 so you get 0 here then you have this term so minus into minus is plus so integral cos nx so you have 1 by n integral cos nx is sin nx by n with the limits 0 to pi so again this term becomes 0 because sin n pi is 0 sin 0 is also 0 so this term becomes equal to 0 so this is 1 by pi cos 0 is 1 so you have pi by n 1 cos of minus theta is cos theta so this will be cos n pi itself and what is cos n pi it is minus 1 whole power n then you have minus pi by n so you have by n cos n pi is again minus 1 whole power n so now let me remove the brackets here so i get 1 by pi so this is pi by n minus pi by n minus 1 whole power n and again minus pi by n minus 1 whole power n so this will be minus 2 isn't it so I have 1 by pi observe that I have pi common I can take pi common outside so you get 1 minus 2 by n minus 1 whole power n so pi and pi gets cancelled and then you have n this is 1 by n right so n also can be taken outside because n is common so you have 1 by n 1 minus 2 into minus 1 whole power n so what is b of n b of n equals 1 by n 1 minus 2 into minus 1 whole power n so we have obtained the value of a naught a n and b n so let us substitute the values of a naught a n and b n in the equation 
Therefore, f of x equals a naught by 2. a naught is minus pi by 2 into 2, which gives me 4. Plus, summation n equals 1 to infinity. a n is 1 by pi n square minus 1 whole power n minus 1 cos nx plus summation n equals 1 to infinity 1 by n 1 minus 2 into minus 1 whole power n so you have sin nx sin nx so we have found out the value of a0 an as well as bn and we have substituted those values in the given equation so if you have a function f of x such that we will not be able to identify whether the given function is odd or even, we have to find a0 as well as the Fourier coefficients a n and b n. So do not forget to like, share and subscribe and press the bell icon to get notifications of all the further uploads. And thanks for watching.